Mop up the floor, which is not a university. Mop up the floor. You know, you got to pack your bags. You got to get away to Houston, Texas, because it's going to be off the chain. It's by you class today. Our arrival at Southern University. Battle of the bands. Battle of the bands. Battle of the bands. It's going to be 60 minutes of true warfare. The game hadn't started. It scored 50 to nothing already. Bruce, he changed. Bruce Eugene, where the hell is it? Damn senior leadership. If your ass the damn champ, your ass act like you the damn champ. Hey everybody, get in the bedroom now. Eva Grooms, Eva Grooms. Get on the bus and on our way to Houston. The part time was five o'clock, Eva. That was an hour ago. Oh God, they left me. I felt so unloved. Oh man. Biggest events of the whole band season. No, 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 no. Then I missed the bus. By the grace of God, somebody rung from my room phone. Hello. Eva. Oh, God, they left me. Girl, don't you worry. You can borrow my car. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Dr. Peniel don't even know who I am, so let alone anybody else will recognize what I do. Dr. T, he might say so. Eva don't know me. I don't know Eva. If you're not where you're supposed to be at the right time, with the right attitude, ready to work, there are consequences. You have to earn to be in this band. Even if she can't understand it for right now. I have no idea if I'm going to be on the field for body classic or not, but hopefully I will be. Like that. Whoa, whoa, Al. Shut the hell up. I ain't got time for it. Coach said we got meeting at 645, and I'm not trying to be late today. When is the light going to go on that you guys got to understand a sense of urgency? It's only one damn game that's going to be on television Saturday. We're talking about 400 million viewers all over the world. Bruce Eugene, how the hell can you be the leader in the damn coach don't know where you are. Bruce Eugene, where is he? You know, people like the naysayers and the critics, you know what I'm gonna tell them? They don't even know whether you, you're sick or what. It's Bruce wrong. Eugene, do you understand that? Did you think they got 17 year olds standing on that damn front line down in Guantanamo Bay? Hell, they putting their life on the line. What the hell are you gonna put on the line? When he told me that, I felt like crying, and you know, I kind of, I, I sucked it up. You playing with your own money right now. You know, everybody know you gonna get a shot, but for really and truly, for Bruce Eugene to get the money he wants and deserves, you gotta go the extra mile. They might think I ain't listening to him and everything, but I understand. I feel where you coming from. Do what you gotta do, man. So we all could get paid. You get drafted, that's why payday. Believe it. Say it ain't coming fast enough. Who am I? That's it. Without being in school, I'd rather do what people tell me not to. But still, I'll always be part of the band, even if it's just following them. You know, opportunity came up to get me a room and a chance to go to the classic. So I took it, just hitched a ride, and I'm on my way. Do that, big guy, huh? Take care of business, baby. Hey, bro. Don't talk to me right now. I'm concentrating. <laughs> right now, the scouts probably don't know my name, so 
by your class, I would try to you know, put it all together and just have put on the show for them. You know, I'm the type of person, you know, to where I'm always thinking negative, you know. Before every football game, I, I, I never think about what I'm going to do right. I always think about what I'm going to do wrong. We about to just uh, check into the hotel, you know what I'm saying? All right, come on, full frontal nudity. <laughs> we cut the TV on, there was the Yule log burn. Keeps, uh, you know what I'm saying, the room warm, you know what I'm saying, with the Yule log on. I'm probably gonna get the Yule log DVD, maybe so you can just skip chapters. We got one Yule log burning, the next chapter might be two Yule logs burning, and you know, it's probably somebody comes in with a poker and pokes the Yule log, you know. <laughs> now we just get ready for the battle. Me and Nemo are gonna sleep good tonight. Oh, 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 what you need? Now, last time I seen that, I seen that with a little bitty girl. I miss my baby. Her mother just took her to the hospital, you know what I'm saying, check up on her. She had a fever and a little cold, so I don't know how that goes. She, she smiled before, she, before, before I left, so I knew everything was gonna be all right. So, yeah, I'll be looking forward to seeing her, seeing her smile with no teeth. G.A. 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 To have my family here is, is, is really a blessing. I don't, I don't like to lose in front of my mom and my family and friends, so, you know, anytime they're there, you know, I, I, the best come out of me. He have never beaten the Southern, but I've already prayed on it, gave it to him, and left it alone. So it's all in his hand. Whatever for Bruce, he's gonna be blessed with it. Me and Coach Spears did our me and Coach Spears did our normal talk before the game. Cried together. He come in there, he said, man, look, take what they give you and everything. And he just start crying while he's doing it. And while he cried, I'd be like, damn, Coach. Man, <laughs> man, you know what? You know what I'm saying? I go ahead and drop a couple of tears, then we say our normal prayer together. Yeah. And then we go ahead and I go back in the locker room. Whoa, whoa, Al. Shut the hell up. Here we go. Uh-oh. Part of my family. This is my young bundle of joy. <laughs> hey. Hey, my dad. I've been crying all day that I'm still kind of, you know what I'm saying? But it's OK. I'm going to get old. Baby's here, you know what I'm saying? I love my baby. Family came out to support me. Oh, uh, that's my baby. I was ready to just play. I know we're going to do big things. If the kids can keep their energy, we're going to be all right. I got there, man. I thought I was gonna get in trouble. So I'm just like, I'm just gonna fall in with everybody else and they black and white. I would be real upset if I couldn't get on the field. I've been working these last three months just for this. She was late. So, uh, it just depends on how band directors are feeling. We were so hyped. We came in there with the mentality, kill. Kill Southern's band. You're ready, you're ready. Let's do it, let's do it. <gasps> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Bayou Classic Battle of the Bands. Tonight, we've got the world-famed Tiger Marching Band from Grambling State University and the Jaguar Marching Band from Southern University. What are the drum mates? Dr. Pinnell, he lines everybody up in front of the crowd. He was like, Eva, get up. I'm playing in the Bayou Classic. I can't believe this. Let's get it on! Southern, they're mainly a brass band, so that's a strong sound. I 
got kind of nervous. Like, I ain't never seen nothing like this before. I don't really want to win this one. Who wins the battle is all decided on the crowd. The crowd is like just crazy. They will boo you, trust and believe. They will boo you. So we need to just do something dramatic and just off the chain. I was scared though. I don't want to lose in front of all these people. We're more flashy, we're a little more showy. Like, we'll put on more of a show. He was on the road to being an outstanding contributor to this band. She showed me she had heart. The crowd didn't even want us to leave or go nowhere. You know, they wanted to stay there and dance. I was very proud. We won and you lost. She asked me who won. Grandma State won. My last Thank you, thank you. I want to give big ups to Jesus, my mom. You know, my drumsticks. <laughs> Who in the heck is this? The way he was acting, I thought he was gonna like, you know, tell me to go or have me escorted out by security. We gonna get him. We gotta need you to do this, buddy. Man, sell just like me. We some ghetto boys. I know you. Oh, he just the little child running wild, just like I was. It, it's gonna be a, gonna be a beautiful ending to that, you know. Money time. This is our element. Buy you classics time. It's your time at the Apollo. Grandma State number one, we're gonna whoop something. Woo! <laughs> SU rules. Take that hey. hat off, man. See that? It's Jaguar time. Yeah, it's been 365 days. Father God, we come back once more, giving you the thanks and the praise giving us another opportunity to be able to fall to our level. No oh God, when it's all said and done, when the last bell is rang, we holler, hooray for grandma. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. You always the last guy to go out, okay? It's your show, baby. Coach Bills had told me the first drive is yours, so I got to call my own plays. Eugene with a bullet. Touchdown, Grambling State University. He showed you a big time arm as he fired the ball in the hole. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. After that first drive, Southern can't stop me. It's our game today, it's our time. I got sweet feet now, but people don't realize I got sweet feet. He's going to score a touchdown with nimble feet for the big guy, Bruce Eugene. Can't get a break, man. This train ain't stopping for nobody. Can't get with us, we're gonna roll right over. Blue is back at his own 41. Shakes off the tackle, swarmed under. That ball came loose. Jaguars saying they have it. Huge play in the ball game. Going to halftime, Southern had all the momentum. Lewis passed the ball to Pittman. Touchdown, Southern University. Eugene back to pass, almost picked off. 
that, that screen gotta be quick. You can't, I, I you got time to shovel, shovel, shovel. That's all right, baby, that's all right. Get out! Bruce Eugene nearly intercepted again. Come on, man. And that's the end of the first half. We come out of practice better than we came out down here. Every year, when something always starts to go wrong, I always ask the question, why me? And welcome back to Houston, Texas, here at Reliance Stadium as we begin the second half. After halftime, we didn't come out with the same intensity. The second half, we came out in the first half. Eugene going back, and he is set. Y'all got to get him back. Y'all got to get him back back here now. You know, it might have been my last year. I want to get that monkey off my back. You know, with a championship in hand. Like any quarterback should do in crunch time, I wanted the ball. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh! I kept telling coaches, look, just put it in my hands, let me make the decision. When the NFL sees that throw, I don't care if he's 300 pounds, the man can deliver the football. They're gonna start panicking in a few minutes now. Everybody was focused. I knew we had the game. Under pressure and set. It's a shot of the quarterback. We score it one more time, it's on. The last drive was probably, you know, the most important drive of our season. After I snapped the ball, I went to run toward the pylon, but I, I realized I'm not going to make it. I just lobbed it up in the air to the roof to seal the ball game. has won the 32nd annual State Farm Bayou Classic. I'm just proud of you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Thank you a lot, man. Right now, I feel real good. I finally got that monkey out of my back. Who that talking about beating them Tigers? Who that? Who that? <laughs> Seniors, I appreciate you guys, man. You guys done a great job leading this team. You've done a great job being here. All you guys will graduate, which is the most important thing. Everything was just good. The highlight was just winning. You know what I'm saying? Just winning. There's no other place I'd rather be right now. My ultimate goal would be in the NFL, but if, if not, just hunt for a good job. Go, Blue! Go, Blue! I knew it was a consequence to having a baby. Can't get stressed out about this. This year is a learning experience for me. Yo, give me a guy, Tom. She can't hang. I made a lot of mistakes. You, can you handle this? Mm, I can handle this. But I made it through, you know. If I can make it through that, I can make it through anything in life. I'm here waiting for Doc, you know what I'm saying? We're supposed to have this little meeting, discuss my uh, future. This semester. It was like the lowest point in the whole band career. Say, dog, you got $200 just lying around your morning. <laughs> right? It was terrible. But I put too much time and effort into it to just keep that kind of attitude. Hey, doc. Hey, man, it's been a good weekend, brother. Hey, we got to put it on. Well, I appreciate you this weekend. I appreciate it a whole lot, man. You just don't know what the inspiration was to see you there. I did want to tell y'all, uh, I've given a lot of thought. I want to see you get out of school. I want to help yeah, you any kind of way you can. Mm -hmm. So if you get those doggone GPA, that 2.0, mm -hmm. that is your ticket out the ghetto, OK? Yeah. Yeah. Well, from here on out, it's pretty much just straight grinding with school, you know? Like the turtle, slow and steady wins the race. When I first came here, I was so bullheaded. Even this drum is not clean. I ain't want you telling me nothing. I don't care who you is, but you don't need to be telling me nothing. You know, I was real like that, but now I'm a lot more humble than I was before I came here. By next year, I am gonna tear an even bigger hole than I was gonna do this year. This guy actually has every passing record in the history of Grambling State University. Mr. Bruce Eugene. Since I've been here at Grambling, I've been going through trials and tribulations. I don't care how much food you eat, you gotta start being perfect right now. Now you're acting like your hands are broke or they're tied to your side. I know money 
won't solve all our problems, but somehow, somewhere, I'm gonna I'm I'm give her something, just let her know, look, man, here you go, I love you. <laughs>